comes to your bones, all fractures are not created equal. Doctors break them down into several categories. Something athletes may be familiar with are stress fractures. Stress fracture is, is a small crack that can occur over time from accumulated trauma, usually from overuse. Uh, something that we see much more commonly in, say, runners. Stress fractures can also develop during everyday activities in bone that's been weakened by osteoporosis. It's generally a population uh, in their 60s, 70s, 80s, even 90s. But essentially, the bone becomes weakened, and with a trivial injury, maybe lifting some groceries, uh, stepping off of a curb, um, sitting down, uh, vigorously in a chair, they might sustain an osteoporotic compression fracture. Stress fractures don't require medical intervention in order to heal. Taking time off and alleviating the stress gives the body time to recover. In cases that involve osteoporosis, doctors will sometimes stabilize the crack. On the flip side, a compound fracture always warrants medical treatment. Compound fractures, uh, also known as open fractures, is any fracture in which the bone comes out the skin which is a little more severe than a normal fracture because now you run the risk of infection. Sometimes seen in contact sports, the compound fracture is the result of a direct blow or high velocity impact. Like a motor vehicle accident or a fall from a certain height, those would be more of a high velocity fracture or break of the bone. A traumatic break requires emergency attention. The exposure to air creates the potential for complications. The bigger the wound is and the more trauma there is to the exposed bone, the more chance there is for complications such as infections or poor healing. Stress fracture or compound, either way they can be a tough break. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.